Well, nobody's gonna go out with me. Have you asked anybody yet? No, but who would? I don't even have any good skills. What do you mean? You know, like nunchuck skills, bow hunting skills, computer hacking skills. Girls only want boyfriends who have great skills. <laughs> Alright guys, thank you guys for tuning in. And today we are taking a different approach. We're not taking the normal, usual fitness route. We are going to be going over a topic that might help. This is like a personal development channel, guys. You, I mean, you can get better. That's what we all try to do. This is not my Kindle back place thing. I actually uh, borrowed this from my mom and I have to return it soon or later. She's probably going to see this video and she's going to want it back. So, um... I'm gonna be covering, you know, today we're covering charm. What works with women? What works on first dates? What works on any kind? If ladies comment on here, if it does work, if it don't, be like, hey, don't ever try it again. I've been, I read books, guys. I'm not ashamed to say this. Uh, I'll read books on personal development. I'll read books on confidence. I'll read books on charm. I'll read books on everything. I just, literally, I just read personal development books and I love it. So, and, uh, Again, I think you should work on yourself first before jumping in any any relationship. I work on myself for very long. I'm one of those people that's more um, kind of selfish. That's why things don't work for me. Um, I like to do a lot of things my way, and then I like to do. Uh, gosh, I, I have to feel like mutual connection and mutual like energy is being put into both people. You know, I can't feel like it's a one way thing. Like if you're putting all your work in a relationship. You're not getting the same back. I mean, you're, I feel like you're doing all the work, which at most times I think it should be a 50-50 thing. Sometimes you might have to put more work in. So again, we're gonna go through this book, um, Charm Her Socks Off, Creating Chemistry from Thin Air. And ladies, let me know if these work. Like comment below. Um, this is principle number 19, cultivate the vacation mindset. Take her to parts where she, of the town where she isn't familiar. So these are something you could do, I guess, on first dates. Restrict act access to her phone. That's something that drives me nuts. Whenever somebody takes out their phone while you're like hanging out, or do, I never do it. I never do it because you should show the time and attention to the other person. So if that works, I don't know if you guys are cool about it. I mean, I mean it's all right, Snapchat or, you know, I never bring a camera anytime I go out on a date or anything. Like the camera stay here, um, that's like down the road. I mean, let the person get more comfortable. Um, don't bring up work. Do a walking tour of the city. So that's some stuff you, I guess you can do. You can be adventurous. That works. I don't know if ladies like that. But I don't know. Ladies' minds are harder. Um, see, <laughs> avoiding the dreaded creep label. So guys, if you're feeling like you're just a creepy dude, creeping on ladies, and ladies, you feel like you're creeped out by the guy, how do you avoid this? I guess this would be like holding eye contact if, uh, for ladies. I don't know how. I don't know if it's like a battle of who looks away first. Like when you look at a dog, you're like, you know, you're just staring at the dog, and the dog's like, who's the master? But I think it's more just looking at her in the eyes when she talks, and that's the kind of thing. So examples. This is like if you wanted to make the first move, or just touching the small of her back while walking next to her. Behind. To me, that's kind of creepy though. Like for women, I don't know playfully hip bumping or pushing her while walking so you know you like both are walking both are walking just <laughs> just kidding don't do that don't do that uh, you don't want to come out like a linebacker straight up just take her down uh, don't ask for her permission I do ladies like that do you want to be asked first um, or should a guy just go right for it is a gentleman kind of way to ask um, in many cases, it is easier to touch from the side. Facing each other straight on is more likely to create a violet, violet personal bubble, whether she realizes it or not. Set the tone early on that you're a touchy person. If you aren't, learn to be. I am somewhat. Not really, but... It's okay. Um, like hugs. Like when you go see family members, hugs. That, to me, that I don't like it. High-fiving, playing with her hair while sitting next to her. I might get your hair in a knot. Here's some other ones. 
See these other ones, I didn't, I didn't really agree with like getting to know the people at the restaurant or getting to know in advance like the people that post the menus or knowing the cooks and stuff like that. Does a girl really care about that? To be honest, I mean, if you walk in, you're like, hey, chef, whatever. Uh, is a girl gonna be impressed? I don't know. I don't know. That's why we're going over these together. If you guys enjoy these videos, um, I'll do more of them. Now, when it comes to texting, do girls like doing that 21 question thing where you're just asking them questions? Um, because then, again, I've seen in other videos where you should just ask, again, if for the first date or another date, or and then really talk mostly when you're interacting one on one. So, is it supposed to be like, hey, what's your favorite color? Hey, what's your birthday? Hey, what's your, or should you wait for this stuff and just interact with her one on one on a date? Most of far, most of far. Uh, so far, I've heard mostly that you should just go on the date, ask her on dates. That's what texting should be in communication or phone calls. Um, that's like back in the day. Uh, these are kind of dates that I think would work. What's your ladies? What's the ladies' thoughts on mini golf, uh, driving range, cooking class, um, cooking dinner together, gardening? I would never want to do that. Um, who wants to garden on a date? Hiking, that'd be fun. Biking, trivia nights, painting class, canoeing. Uh, it's just not float. Uh, working out together, number one. Um, building picture frames, ah, that's all right. Karaoke bar, private karaoke room. Um, painting pictures of each other with crayons. Uh, <laughs> Stay inside the line. Bowling, billiards, playing uh, with fake tattoos. Chalking up a sidewalk, making don't know what that means. Uh, Go-kart racing. Uh, what she'll think. That date was so fun and the conversation was so easy. He's such a great guy. And I really felt like we got to know each other. Well, no awkward pauses. Is that how ladies think? All right. So this one might help you out. Okay. The next one is you are the CEO of the interaction. So, guys, if we're talking one-on-one, -on -one, um, I guess you control the pace of the conversation with the lady. Um, so yeah, you come up with all the questions, she comes up with all the answers. And uh, I found this to work, you know, when you're just talking one-on-one, -on -one, like, hey, you know, how's your day? How were, you know, things that don't bring up work, so I was gonna say, how's it gonna work? But, uh, you know, what'd you do today? Things like that. Um, but I, well, every time I do that, I'm always like, what if she don't ask back? Is she, is she interested in you? or? Is she shy? Again, how to charm the socks off of her. Bold dates heighten emotion. Now, ladies, if you like these, you know, I, I feel I feel like these are cool. I feel like, I mean, you could end up giving your date a heart attack or pretty much putting them out, but skydiving, bungee jumping, white water rafting, urban exploring at night, sneaking into a closed building or park. That would be really fun. Um, Creating art together by finger or body painting, riding ATV in the desert, and uh, jet skiing, that'd be cool, running a boat, rock climbing, getting ridicule, radio, getting ridiculed at a comedy show in the front row, zip lining, scavenger hunt with a list of clues personal to her, a shooting range. So, um, what she'll think, that date is crazy. He's so thoughtful, daring, and unique. I can't believe he thought of this. I can't wait to tell my friends. I don't think really girls think like that, but. So yeah, this book, if you guys wanna check it out, is by Patrick King. And again, like I said, this isn't my case, so I don't have a purple love, I love purple, but. Um, so yeah, ladies, I uh, personally, again, like I said, I haven't talked to someone in about, like I haven't actually been in a relationship for about three or four years. Gosh, I can't even remember. Um, yeah, so, yeah. I like to take time off, kind of focus on myself. And that's why I say, always focus on yourself, work on yourself, and then things will open up. But uh, yeah, that's, um, if those things work, you know, like you guys like the adventure states, or if you guys like where the guy controls the conversation, things like that. Um, yeah, or controls the pace of how things go, or the texting, that's a big thing too, so. If you guys like that, if the ladies like that, comment below, so guys can be like, okay, that's how I'll do it. I'll be a gentleman like that, you know what I'm saying? Um, yeah. 
<laughs> so again, like I said guys, uh, I am one who, you know, when things pop up, I don't really focus on finding at the time. I mean, I have or I've been like, okay, I want to, you know, got to find somebody. I want to be in a relationship. I don't want to be single for life. Single for L. Um, but yeah, I mean, I think when you wait and the time's right, things will open up. You'll find the right person. So again, guys, make sure to like, share, subscribe. If you guys liked this, I will do other books and we'll do some funny little stuff out of it. You know, I, th I laugh at some of the stuff when they say lady thinks like that. I don't think ladies think like that. I don't know how ladies think, but certainly not like that, I don't think. Um, but yeah, if you guys want to see more, like, share, subscribe. Let me know. Comment in the section what you think. If you like it, I'm out. Appreciate your support. Goodbye. <laughs> I closed my eyes, woke up and I saw my dream.